What's up guys, it is that Pentagon. I'm here again with another video and today I wanted to look at this new hero and uh, I also wanted to save you guys from wasting your money because honestly I was very disappointed when kind of checking out this hero, um, especially for such an expensive hero. You would expect it to be kind of better, right? Um, and I'm going to talk about, I'm, I'm going to spend probably the first two minutes just kind of blabbering, right? But uh, I do want to say something. Um, first off, if it's kind of similar to the May event, they will maybe let you get this hero for free, like the initial unlock but anything after that you know you'll generally want to spend in these events to get the fragments because um, to actually exchange you know to, to like exchange your normal like uh, general fragments right you know how you have let's say I, I exchange two legendary hero fragments I get two Felix fragments right um, for May for example it's the same exact as uh, the new hero that's kind of come out whereas you have to exchange double the fragments that you're going to get. So if I if I want 10 fragments, I have to exchange 20 of my legendary hero fragments and for such a like a hero that I can got to invest so much into, you want to be very significant, want to be like some insane hero that's going to kind of provide you a lot of value and for especially whales who are going to be dump, potentially dumping a lot of money into this hero, it's like this hero better be good. Um that being said, uh let me just kind of hop into the soaring birds, you know, this is kind of normal for like these collab events increase the damage dealt to rider squads by five percent but damage taken from range squads increase by three percent so it's like a give and take here but like i was saying i do think that um it, i don't know i you would imagine this should be like a more significant hero and honestly you can look at it at both ways right um given that i think that this hero is bad or not not as good as it should be um you could look at it as, oh, well, now at least whales don't have another hero that they can slam me with, right? Or you can look at it as, oh, well, now IGG is just pumping out another hero for us to just kind of dump our money in, and it makes zero sense for them to do this, you know? And I, I kind of look at the second one, and I'm like, these guys are basically just trying to milk players, you know, who are like, I wouldn't even say stupid enough to spend on the skin, but just like who don't care enough and ju are just willing to spend on the skin just because they can, right? Um, one thing I also want to note real quick are there are probably going to be new armaments, um, special armaments for this event that would be the only thing i'd maybe actually recommend you spending on if you plan to spend or your big will um if you look at the may may armaments uh normal armaments supreme armaments can usually peak you around like seven million hero might whereas i've seen may uh the may set peak players around 7.3 million might on heroes that's probably going to be the same with like i imagine the infantry armaments and stuff and they're going to provide you pretty good value so that might be the only thing worth spending on in this event i'm not really sure yet we'll cover the event as it comes that being said let's talk about this hero let's talk about the skills and i'll give you guys my thoughts on everything okay so for the first skill explosive shots the rage required is as normal 1000 deals damage to the enemy target damage factor being 13,000 damage this is pretty average damage nothing crazy nothing terrible and it reduces the rage of up to five nearby enemies by 80 um and overall this means that you're going to be potentially reducing up to 400 rage which is honestly a really nice effect i think that this is actually really cool and i'm actually very interested in this skill in particular uh, this effect can be triggered on the same target only once in five seconds. So, yeah, um, I, I don't think this this like ending part really matters because I don't see this skill triggering more than one than once in every five seconds, right? So I I, I don't know if there's like a it, it there's a reason for this or that, like maybe they'll release a hero down the line that's gonna uh, what like boost your rage so much that you're like pumping out skills every four seconds or so because usually it takes you around like five six seconds right to um put out put out skill skill damage whatever the case but you guys get my point right i i do think that this uh rage reduction is going to be a pretty significant um factor i think that this is actually the best skill in this just because i think that this is like a nice a nice change in pace in the game i think it's a nice little addition uh, skill wise but yeah let's not like pander on this topic too long and let's go to the next skill skill two Counter attacks have a 30% chance to reduce the HP of up to five nearby right enemy squads, um, enemies by 47% for three seconds. This effect can be triggered only once in five seconds. I actually think that this skill can be very effective, but then again, I was thinking about it and I, I, I wasn't really sure because honestly, if people just are savvy and know about this hero and they just decide, hey, don't don't attack that hero right just target a different hero and leave this for last right 
this hero is not going to be very effective in this regard, and this, this skill is going to be made basically useless. And the fact that it only has a 30% trigger rate kind of turns me off as well. I just am not very, I don't know, like, give. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of players who don't know or, or aren't savvy to this type of stuff, and they just focus whatever hero they want to focus. So in some cases, this will be very effective. But in a lot of cases, especially like bigger brackets and stuff, people are going to know, hey, leave this hero for last don't do this also i want to t say like this definitely looks like a debuff hero like a big debuffer hero <laughs> um yeah but looking at his third skill every 10 seconds it grants a shield to oneself for two seconds the shield factor going up to 3.3 thousand um also reduces the travel speed and damage of up to five nearby enemy enemies so it reduces the travel speed by up, up to 35 percent and um it, there's a damage reduction of 16 percent uh, for three seconds, so both both for three seconds, right? So this is an okay skill. I actually don't hate it. Um, I do think that this is like a long trigger time. If I'm gonna be honest, ten seconds. Like most skills or like stuff that triggers is like five seconds or something. That's double the normal time. So I don't really love that. Um, but it, it could be worse. I don't know. Like this skill could overall be worse. I suppose travel speed reduction that can be pretty nice. Um, and like debuffing enemy squads all right yeah I, I i don't hate the skill it's just like it's not it's not enough for me to kind of jump out of my chair um for a hero like this i just don't i, I don't know like for such an expensive hero you I'm, I'm expecting more during field battles squad attack increases by um 27 and travel speed increases by 22 percent this is a pretty okay skill um it's kind of something I would just expect, you know, like normally. Um, and, and one thing I actually want to mention real quick, I actually noticed, like, compared to some heroes, like, for for example, Dut has, like, a, you know, a lot of, a, what is it, squad um, attack. She has a more squad attack defense, depending on, like, I guess, like, what what her squad size is. But I noticed that he doesn't have, like, a ton of actual base stats and his skills. And I noticed a lot of heroes just will end, have that in, like, generally one of their skills or something. And not every hero does, but a lot of them do, where they have, like, a ton of stats kind of pumped up throughout their skills. Uh, I don't really see that here th that much. And that's not going to instantly make this hero bad, but I did notice that was, like, something significant. And since, like, a, a skill like this might be ineffective, I was kind of cautious about, like, this being very very amazing i don't know i'm just i'm just not super excited and looking at the awakened skill i actually want to tell you guys this is probably one of my this is i i don't know all the awakened skills off my head but this is either my least favorite or one of my least favorite awakened skills just because i'm not really a big fan of like healing skills like these i mean healing skills can be nice but on a hero like this and it being their awakened skill at that like i was expecting like um I don't know, like something crazy, right? I was expecting something like not not even groundbreaking, just like really significant. But I don't really enjoy heal factor skills. But okay, when taking skill damage, there's a 50% chance um, to restore HP of up to three in, uh, nearby allies. The the heal factor being 1.6k. This effect can be triggered only once in five seconds. So it's okay. I can see this being a good skill. I can see him being a good like debuffer, buffer skill kind of on the field somewhat, right? But I just don't think this is significant enough to want to like pump your cash into them. You know, I just, I don't know. I just don't, don't recommend spending on this hero. I like, I don't think they're terrible, honestly. I don't think this hero is like absolutely garbage. I just don't think that they're like amazing. I just do not. Okay. I, I that's literally all I can say. I, this video was literally made to hate on this hero and I can't help it because I'm kind of like let down after reading through everything. And I was like, um, I was just expecting something more, you know, like these heroes are generally really expensive. They require a lot of like kind of cash flow pumping money into them. And I don't know, like I was not, I was not, I was not happy with what I saw. Okay. You guys let me know what you guys think. Tell me if I'm just a hater, if I just hate this hero more than I should. I just like, I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed. I don't really think that this is like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. Okay, I'm just saying the same thing again. You guys let me know in the comments, though, if you guys agree or you disagree. I do appreciate you guys for watching, as always. Hope you guys have a great day or night, though. And, yeah, that is about it. That is my thoughts on the new hero. And peace out.